J and B on the rocks. Uh, a show called J and B on the rocks. Uh, a show called J and B on the rocks. Uh, oh, Bloomington Community Access. Oh, TV. hey, hello. Welcome to J and B on the rocks television show. Yes, here we are in a parking lot here in Bloomington, Indiana. So, what's in store for '94? Mm-hmm. Notice how I cut through the bullshit and just get right yeah. to the main message. I'm the mixer upper, the bullshitter mixer upper bartender guy. J, me. Yeah. And I'm B, I'm the videotape editor, and that's why we call this show, in fact, J and B on the Rocks, because we have mixed drinks. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm drinking scotch on the rocks right now in honor of the new year. Um, so What's in store for 94? We've assembled our friends together, and we're just going to go around and ask some questions of people here in the community. Yeah, of yeah. Bloomington. Bloomington, Indiana. Seeing what people care about, what people think, what they hope, what they dream of for the new year. So let's get going. Here we go. Here we go. We're, we're going here to uh, visit some friends of ours to see what they think is in store for 94. <laughs> but they don't know we're coming. So this door is either going to open here in a few minutes or not. Yeah, yeah. We didn't prepare for this because, you know, we don't prepare for anything. Okay, well, uh, apparently nobody's home, so we're just gonna go next door and see who lives there. Yeah, yeah. I bet they're not here, there's no car. Yeah. Well, there's no car here, but we're gonna try anyway. Oh, I, I hear something. Some, someone we heard a is, thump. in fact, moving around inside there. We think we know who lives here, but we may be completely wrong. But, you know. Look, you guys, they must have a beast of bird. Wow. Wow. Oh, God. Or else just some hideous little sex trick. I don't know. Well, it looks like that once again no one's home, so um, we're just going to have to move onwards. You know what's in store for 94 for them? Looks like a lot of fun outdoor activities because they're yeah. not here. They are here. Look at that little dude. I wonder if he channels Rudy as well. <laughs> So it's time to find out what someone else thinks is new, or in store, rather, for 94. 1994, that is. Here we go. No solicitors. Well, fuck that. We're going to go in and solicit. Don't you be talking about my wife that way. Not looking real promising here for, for for the presence of our friend Mike Price here. Um, so instead, we're gonna gonna have a little celebration here, and it goes like this. Dude looks like a lady. Da, 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 Dude looks like a lady. Da, 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 Dude looks like a lady. Da, 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 the dude looks like a lady. Okay. okay end of celebration. Back to, to reality. Thank you. 
So we're here at another house, uh, a friend of ours named Diane. There seems to be a dog home or, or something in, in the window. Uh, we're knocking on the door, knocking on the window. We're trying to get inside. Hi, Libby! We're trying to find out what's in store for 94. We're going around to many, many different places. Uh, friends of ours here in Bloomington kind of unannounced, showing up, surprise visit with a video camera, trying to surprise people in their homes. And so far, we have had little success. You know what I conclude? I conclude that what's in store for 94, that people are going out more. Yeah. Except for Libby. That, that, that That's cool little Libby. Libby. Hi, Libby. Hey, little Libby. What's in store? Okay, so we're going to make one more last-ditch effort to try to find one of our friends in their home. This guy lives right across the street here. His truck's there, at least. Let's go. Come on, we've got to find out what's in store for 1994. Let's hope, let's pray that he's home. Let's pray that this television show is not a complete look. failure. Wow, look. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Good. Uh, we just came over. Uh, we were wondering if we could come in and ask you what's in store for 94. So, Chris Marin, what's in store for 94? What is in store for 94? Uh, I think that uh, we're going to see a whole lot of new water flowing down rivers. We're going to see flooding in major parts of the country. In a more local level, it's going to rain here next summer, I predict, for definite sure. It's going to rain. Congratulations. Hey, Wayne, what's in store for 94? Well, tell us why. You know what? What's Is in store? Really on? Yeah. yeah. Tell us. Tell Should I look at it? Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> look wherever you want. Fear of the camera! Why am I leaving Bloomington? I'm graduating. Hooray. Yay! Congratulations. And why, I don't know where I'm going to go. Why leave? Because there's no graduate school here that does what I want to do. and. I've lived in Bloomington or Martinsville all my life, so I'm ready to go. Wow. So, Chris Marin, what's in store for 1994? I see composting as a very real possibility in this world. Come here and I'll show you composting. Oh, okay. At, at probably its worst, because mine doesn't look that good. Okay. But if you just walk on down here. Uh-huh. So you walk back here and you go, wow, here's a compost pile hidden among Christmas trees of years wow. gone by. Christmas trees of years past. So I stick my compost pile in here. Mm -hmm. You can see I've been eating a lot of grapefruits lately. Yeah, you sure have. Coffee filters, you can put all sorts of stuff in a, in a compost pile. Coffee yeah. filters, hair, eggs, all the stuff. And I think you're supposed to cover it up real well. But since the ground's frozen, I can't really cover it up, so I just put leaves on top of it. Or just leave it out here for people to go, gosh, he's got a pretty ugly compost pile. But I think that I know it's good because of the food. everything is decomposing, and next year I'll have dirt, real dirt. Wow, real dirt. I know, honest. honest. <laughs> congratulations on the real dirt. Mm -hmm, the real dirt of it all. Wow, congratulations. Well, that's terrific. So, well, we're going to go find out what some other people uh, expect for 1994. So, here we go. So, what's in store for 1994? Well, let me see. Christy Paxson will become impregnated by alien twins. Jay will marry a tall, blonde Mexican. And Bart will be uh, abducted by the aliens that impregnated Christy. It's all kind of this little triangle thing. A plot, sort a of. A plot? Thing. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's all intertwined. Wow. <laughs> What's in store for 1994, Mike? Ah, uh, a big tax return and a possible graduation. Wow, hey. from college? Congratulations. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah. I predict that these are going to be the next new big fad. The next? For, what are they? What is it? It's a stick that's actually a pencil. And it wow. costs $2.75. Wow. And it's going to be the next chic thing to have. Yeah, yeah. So here we are at the Frank Southern Ice Skating Rink Center place here in Bloomington, Indiana. And we found a couple people that we're going to ask some pointed questions. What's in store for 1994? <laughs> really cool.
store for the new year for you? I don't know. You don't know? What are you going to do this year? <coughs> play hockey. Play hockey? Are you going to get good? Yep. Yeah? What do you play hockey for? Um, for the Cubs. The Cubs? Cubs? Yeah. Here in Bloomington? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Over here. So when are you going to go professional? Um, January 6th. January 6th, wow, that's soon. As a matter of fact, uh, when people are watching this, that's already passed, so. Wow. You'll be a pro. Can I shake the hand of a pro? Yeah. Hey, that's no hand. <laughs> so, we were just uh, wondering what you think is in store for uh, 94. Oh, well, it's nice of you to ask. Well, here I'm at the skating rink. Uh, I'm just going to be thankful for my friends and uh, try to be a better skater and uh, try to do some more things with my family and just have a good time. Hey, what's in store for 94, Linda? Knee pads. Knee pads? Yeah. Oh, great. They should be the end thing. The cool get the one that you saw. Wow. What's in store for 1994? 1994. Uh, well, I plan on, I plan on ice skating for about an hour, and then I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. You're not quite sure. No. You're just going to play it by ear, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Katie Schechter. Well, thank you. Yes. So what's in store for 94? Uh, Nothing really. <laughs> Nothing really? Just going to skate the whole time? No, I'm going to fall down and take out a few people. Wow, that's great. <laughs> So where are we going now? Uh, now we're heading over to some other friend's house to ask them what's in store for, for 1994. 1994. So here we are to ask that same question once again. Who the hell is oh? Oh, I'm sorry. oh my God! I thought Eric it was White. criminals or something. Oh my God! For Eric, well, somebody. TV well, it's, it's, people. Yeah, it's just just television. America's most wanted, and we found you finally. So can we come in? The real question that we wanted to ask is, what's in store for 1994? I think that probably this whole anal probe um, crisis will come to a head in 94. That's what I'm predicting. The anal probe crisis, now what yeah. exactly is that? The alien anal probe crisis, you know, they're abducting more and more humans. Oh, I didn't know about this. Oh, right, Joe, right. Oh, you haven't been behind the whole thing. Yeah. Um, well, gosh. Uh... What's in store for 94 are these berets. They're just great for covering up those little blemishes that you might have. Not a problem. <gasps> okay. Well, these are from the Herald Times on January 2, 1994. Mm -hmm. Brad Wilhelm says, limb amputation will replace body piercing as the latest fad. People will be lopping off fingers, whacking off toes, or, if they're hardcore, slicing off an arm or a leg. <laughs> a drink now here on this program with this bottle of alcohol, Damiana liqueur, which we found here at this person's residence. Um, and since she was not actually willing to tell us what's in store for 94, we're going to drink her booze because well, that's what you do to people who, who aren't cooperative with the powers of J&B. Actually, it was uh, this bottle of Damiana liqueur is a gift from a friend of ours, uh, Diane here in Bloomington. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. We brought this here. I just, my memory is so so short that I set it down when I came in and then couldn't remember that it was ours. So here we go. Um, now we've already got a cup of coffee here. I've been letting it cool a little bit so that I don't scald myself. And I'm just gonna add the Damiano liqueur to the top. Add about an ounce to a cup of coffee, okay? Mmm, wow, gosh. Mmm, wow, gosh. Mmm, mm. wow, wow. Gosh, gosh, mmm, wow, mmm, gosh. Try it, try it. Because in 94, you need to drink more. Drink more in 94. Hey, you know. <laughs> I might actually learn to like whiskey like this. Well, what 
what should be new in 94 is that this place finally reopens. I mean, come on. It's been closed for about two years now. Let's go. Look at this. The bench is shattered. Oh, my God. Actually, it was opened in 1888. Wow. Before Christ, that is. This is an old building. This is kind of a symbol of the 80s, you know, this, this cheap, um, prefabricated fast food. I think people are into more, you know, long-lasting fast food. We, we all knew this was a joke when it came up. Look at that. Thing. Check out this guy. This is a prototypical 80s guy. Look, he, he's on the run. He's on the make. He's trying to keep up, but he just can't because he's a hamburger. Hello? Can I take your order? Can I take your order, please? Excuse me. Can I take your order? Well, I guess um, what I would like is is to be freed from the the the, the capitalist uh, chains that bind me here in um, the in 1993. I want to break free in 1994, and and um, well. I don't know, have more time to drink, I guess. Okay, uh, let's see, then you want to uh, be freed of the rigid capitalist chains that bind you and uh, have uh, the freedom to drink more often. Uh, yes, that's right. Okay, that'll be 1995. Please pull around to the front. What? What? Wait a minute. There's nothing inside. 1994 is just an empty shell. God empty damn shell. it. That's not an empty shell. That's the brain of a Zen master. A man who has learned to simply be like me. I am simply be. Five half a million dollars. I guess I could pay someone to sing me the song. I got a real nice stereo tape deck player. Put him on. Turn him on. I'll in a big city. I could go out any night and stay up until dawn. Oh dear. So these people are obviously trying to, for, for 94, they're trying to grow tampons in their yard. As you can see, they've got, uh, they've got the, the, the starter going here, and it's, it's, it's eventually going to grow into a big mound, and then they can start manufacturing their own tampons, thus, thus relieving themselves of their dependence on corporate America. So hats off to that. Now, by my estimation, Jay, this tampon is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27 years old. So you got to put a lot of time into your tampon farmer. And this ain't something you just take on lightly. Okay, I mean, they, they put 27 years into this, and then they'll be able to be free, and I hope I know them. Hey, look, it's B. Yeah. You know, for New Year's Eve, um, or no, for the new year, actually. For the new year, uh, my resolution is to, um, gosh, I don't know, have sex more often. <laughs> That's a good resolution. Okay. And, uh, and drink more expensive liquor. <laughs> those, wow, that's those a are two terrific. Res that's a dual resolution, which yeah. I think will see me well. Yeah, no doubt. <sighs> Hi, you've caught me again doing my little thing that I've, I've decided not to do. See this little scarring here? It doesn't really look that bad now because it's healed overnight, but usually my fingers are all like they're bloody nubs when I'm done. By the, by the afternoon, they're just bloody nubs because I'm just, I do this a lot when I get nervous, and I vow to stop. That's what's in store for me in 94. What about you, Jonathan? Moon boy, as we call him here on this television show. I vow to get laid. 
<laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> yes, this is a, a scotch that was given to us by a viewer, Jenny Beasley, and I'm having some more. We had some yesterday. Um, also, <laughs> Dimple Pinch. Mm -mm. A tasty, fun concoction there. This is my new little fun jogging suit that my that my mother got me for Christmas. I guess because now that I'm married, she thinks I need to wear little outfits like this. But I mean, this is like what you go to wear to the grocery and you go grocery shopping in this. Oh, this is a nice, comfortable outfit. I can wear it to the grocery. Look, <laughs> see my car. Married, married, do married, not married, do married, not married. Do not about this Mary, outfit, Mom, Mary, is that Mary, not only does it make, you know, Mary, nobody want to touch me, you know, touch, married, 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 but not even my touch, husband wants Mary, to touch me. I mean, touch, why don't you just Mary, go ahead and rip my do clit not out, touch, huh? Mary, do not touch. So for 1994, I'd like to see more houses in Bloomington like that one. I've always thought that was a nice house, and, and Bloomington needs more houses like that because, well, they're nice. Oh, yeah, crowded apartment complexes. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be exciting to fulfill those goals. <laughs> It'll make me feel good. And in fact, that's why I'm, I, I want to do them. Oh, yeah, because you're into feeling good. Mm -hmm. Not feeling hung up on those damn Ten Commandments. Yeah. About no getting drunk and fucking somebody else. Yeah, yeah. There's a sign in the Ten Commandments, is it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think that's a combination of two or three of the commandments. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we're actually really into condensing the Ten Commandments as much as possible. And uh, if you want to write in and, and offer up your most condensed version of the Ten Commandments, um, why don't you do that uh, at the address on the screen? Yes, a condensed version of the Ten Commandments. Please, we beg of you. We could call it, we could call it the One Commandment. Yeah, yeah. Or, or the One Suggestion. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> The Which one suggestion. Or for, maybe the three sub-suggestions or something like that, you know. Whatever framework you feel works best, uh, just make sure that you, you know, graph it all, chart it all, uh, so that we can see visually what you're speaking about. Or writing about. Who's got a light for me? <laughs> so, I guess that's what we have in store for 1994. Um, it may not be a comprehensive digest of, of the, uh, the goings-on in the world around you, but it should reflect somewhat on your life in some way, um, even if it's just by virtue of the fact that you watched this television show in 1994. So we've been here today um, going around gathering opinions, trying to build a consensus. And uh, at the end of it all, it looks like 1994 is going to be a very special year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can eat candy all year because it's a special year. You won't gain any weight, we promise. If I live in a big city, I could go out any night and stay up until dawn. All kind of choices with the crowd at my back. I don't see making anonymous tracks. Instead of walking these long streets of some redneck, hey, can a cop car look at me like he's wondering what is going on? Yes, I'm just wondering how it would be if I just met a big town with lots of things going on. No one knows who the fuck you are, no one cares, and the punks are the real thing. Probably beat me up and take all my things in the dirt and the ground and all the sky. Small.